Welcome to Australia's best beach. I'm going down spearfishing and I'm probably going to get trigger happy. Watch on as you won't believe what I spear this time. We're up the bay, heading down to the steep hill. Bloody steep hill. It looks absolutely awesome. I'll fly up the drone and show you what we're looking at. But I'm shooting down now, baby. We're going to get spear fishing and hopefully get some dinner. It's absolutely climate conditions out there. Looked at a reef right at the back. I'm gonna head out there, see what we can find, and get a bit of dinner. What a spot, man. Absolutely sweaty levels. Out of 10 out of 10. Southwest is blowing over the other side, and this side's absolute glass off. We timed it perfectly. Absolutely perfect. Offshore breeze, blue water, white sandy beach. What could you want? Onto the cods. We uh, we actually jerry two of them up. We missed one shot. I went to line one up and the safety was on, so I missed that too. But this guy hung around and uh, he absolutely copped it. Beautiful dive, awesome conditions, wicked viz, white sandy beaches, blue water, hot days. What more could you want, baby? Talk shit, get bit. Beautiful end of the trip. Haven't dived here for about 10 years, so I've always been wanting to come back. Haven't been back for ages. Finally got back. And boom, got the fish. Five star eating, absolute cracker. After sitting on the beach, watching the water for a while, I decided I want to take a paddle out the back, right out the back.
That is a big fish. Beautiful fish. Ah, it's spear stuck right in the back of the head. Thanks for coming. Now we just got to paddle these fish all the way back to the beach without this shark getting hold of them. For a dive before, we got that one cod and I was pretty stoked with it, but when I came here like 10 years ago, I found a, a ledge right out the back there and I couldn't find it this time. So I came back to shore and thought, now I'm going back out, I'm going to try and find it and swam out there and bam, found it straight away, shot this cod straight up. I barely get my spear out of it and lodged straight into its head. I struggled to get it out, and then uh, once I finally did, went back to the ledge. But the boys wanted craze, couldn't provide any craze, but the next best thing is some coral trout, crispy skin. Tall chick get bit, definite good end to the trip. That's me. My rods are packed, but I've got my spear guns put away, I'm done. That's it. Talk shit, get bit, baby. Killer end of the trip. For me, that was a pretty sentimental dive. Uh, being able to find a ledge that I found 10 years ago on this island, come back, find the same ledge, and it's still holding fish 10 years later, uh, it's pretty unreal for me. It's pretty much topped off the trip. Those few fish, coral, coral trout's probably my favorite fish to eat, favorite fish to spear. That really has topped off the trip. But now, I gotta walk right up this bloody hill. <sighs> It's going to be a mission and uh, that's probably me going to be wrapping it up. I'm going to be clamping my spear gun. I'm going to be taking apart my rods. I'm not fishing tomorrow. I'm going to sit back and relax. I'm not even going to turn on a GoPro. I'm just going to have a bit of time out and then uh, back to the homestead the day after. And then the day after that is when we're putting the cars back on the boat to go across to the mainland. So it's been an absolute cracker trip. Absolutely awesome for now. Signing out. All right, I'm back up in the bay, taking all in. It's the last day and I said I wasn't going to film today, but uh, take a look at what just happened. Yeah, we'll be
<laughs> yeah, boy! Trip bonus! A battle. Yeah. Boom. yeah, boys, that's how it's Boom. done. Bit of tough gaff shot. Yeah. Come in, the swell cooked us, got hung up, but um, man, she's just going to skin right there and yeah. cap over the assist. And deliver the goods, that's Good how we roll. That was Talk shit, get bit. Free spalling, let it go, let it go, bring it back in. Oh. Oh, what a battle with this one, eh? Ken just got a nice yellow fin tuna. Then my rod buckled. Ran all the way to New York City. Washing up in that white water. Oh, I've got the job done, boys. We're kind of battle of the trip, I reckon. Battle of the trip. Um, 19.5. 21. 20, yeah, I'll go 20.8. 22.3. Go straight in that hole there, Ken. Let's go nice. Twenty-two point one. Lift it up more, Charles. We're touching. It's a fifty pounder. Twenty-two point two, really. Yeah. All right. Oh, no. Three over twenty something. Yeah. That's right. Oh. My death shot. Oh. <laughs> they are murder shots. <laughs> that is an absolute murder shot. The boys on a double. It's a murder scene. Cookie cutters and all. <laughs> it's like the 80s, eh? Hey? Yeah. Later to the Hard Tog Hilton, we're all packed, loaded, heading to the homestead. Another beautiful weather day. Have a look at that. Absolutely unreal. But uh, we gotta go. We've got a four-hour journey ahead of us. We're heading up to the homestead, staying there for the night, and then uh, we'll be off on the uh, barge in the morning, sending it back to the mainland. So we are back at the homestead after a bit of a non-eventful drive, which is good. Probably about three and a half, four hours to get back. And we are wrapping up the trip here, man. It's been an absolutely awesome time. We caught 47 pelagic fish, which is pretty unreal for those few days. And a heap of demersals. It was absolutely awesome getting in the water so many times, going for them dives. And of course, pulling a nine kilo Rankin cod out on the spear. That's a PB for me. And it's about as good as it gets. So. We got scored some awesome weather, uh, absolutely glamour days. Basically the whole time we were fishing, we didn't have any days off. So that's a bit of an added bonus. Normally always, most trips you get washed out for a day or two, but that was awesome, man. Fishing every day, the boys, mate, it's probably one of the best trips we've been on. So we're wrapping it up here. I'm gonna spend the night in the bay here, lap it up, have a few tins, and then uh, the cars are going on the barge tomorrow and we're shooting back to the mainland and sending it back to Perth. So until next time, we'll catch you on the next one, boys. One last cheeky drone stand to show off the Cape Inscription Bar. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series as much as I've enjoyed making it. For anyone interested, head over to westcoastsalt.net to get your latest merch. Thanks, guys. <laughs>